Well, good morning, everyone. On this Friday morning, I want to direct your attention back to Acts chapter 15, where we left off yesterday. And I asked you yesterday to read verses 1 through 35. Well, today, I want you to pick up again in the story of Acts chapter 15 and read the context, which is located in Acts chapter 15, verse 36, through chapter 16, verse 40. Chapter 16, verse 10, is the verse I want to pull out, and it's a familiar verse to you. You will recall the story quite well. Here's what Acts chapter 16, verse 10 says. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. I think you would agree with me that missionary work is hard. I'm not talking about missionary work on the foreign field. I'm talking about missionary work right here at home. Because to enter a new community and join in with the work of God takes wisdom and a heart in rhythm with God. As we try to keep up with all the places where Paul and his company of his company of believers went we see changes Paul and Barnabas have a dispute about including John Mark in their next journey and so they separate Silas and Timothy join with Paul's traveling group and it seems also that Luke the writer of the gospel as well as the writer of Acts joins with them a little later on Paul remembers the churches that he helped to start and grow Paul knows the value of strengthening faith communities, but he also follows the Spirit's direction. Stopped from going into one area, Paul obeys a vision from the Spirit and turns toward Macedonia. Paul seeks to be in step with Almighty God. In Macedonia, God was already preparing the hearts of people when Paul showed up. For example, A woman named Lydia was already a worshiper of God when the Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message about Jesus. Even the resistance of a hard-hearted jailer crumbles at the good news of the gospel. Trembling before Paul and Silas, he asked the question, What must I do to be saved? What must I do to be saved? As you and I walk in this world, I'm wondering, do we trust that the Spirit is going before us? What does it mean for you to be in step with God? What would it mean for you to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus with someone in your sphere of influence, maybe even today? What does it mean for you to walk and live in step with God? Let's pray. Invite us, Lord Jesus, this morning to join you in your work right here where you've placed us. And may our hearts be so sensitive to the moving and help of the Holy Spirit that we will enter the communities that you direct us to. With the good news of the gospel, I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm